Question six. The table shows the number of species added to the United States endangered species list each year for several years. A linear function can be used to model the data. So here I have a big table. The X is years and Y is the number of species added. Which correlation best describes the strength of the linear association between the number of species added to the United States endangered species list and the year? All right, so let's take a look here. It looks like the key word is correlation. And if we take a look at the answer choices, the ABCs, it looks like I need to give the R, which is the correlation coefficient, which I can find using the calculator. I will show you how to do that in a moment. And then we need to decide what type of correlation it is. So let's go ahead and grab our TI Inspire. <clears throat> and we are going to go ahead and find the R, the correlation coefficient. Go ahead and turn on your calculator. And to enter into that calculator, you're going to push 1, then no. And then you're going to want the number 4, which is the list or spreadsheets, okay? So that's how you can make a table for that. So go ahead and push number 4. Go up to the A. You're going to change that to X. So go ahead and push X there for that. Go down, go to the right, go back up. The B, you're going to go ahead and put Y. Okay? Go ahead and go down. Here we're going to go ahead and put our list. So go ahead and put uh, that down. So 2011. 2012, 2013, you're going to have to put them all, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, go down, go right, go back all the way up, make sure you are right next to the 2011, okay, and then put the numbers, okay, make sure that they are all put in correctly okay double check make sure everything is correct now you need to make sure that this rectangle is right here okay now to move on to find the correlation coefficient you're going to push menu you want the number four the statistics so go ahead and push number four and you're going to want stat calculations which is the number one and you're going to want number three the linear regression here, you need to write X, go down, write Y, and then push Enter, Enter, and there you go. Go ahead and go down. Do you see here I have an R? Okay, not R squared, R. Okay, make sure it's not R squared. So what is my R? Let's go ahead and write that down. R is negative 0.0945. Okay? So to shorten it here, it's negative 0.09. It does not round up because that's a 4, right? You would round up if it's a 5 or greater. So that would be my R right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at which one could it possibly be. It's not this one. Maybe this one. Not that one. Possibly this one. All right. And now we need to decide if it's a weak or a strong correlation. So I have a little table for you guys. I want to show you it. All right. So numbers between 0 and 0 0.1 are no correlation. That would be numbers like 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, etc. Numbers between 0 0.1 and 0 0.4 are a weak correlation. So those numbers would be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, or 0 0.3. Okay, numbers between 0 0.4 and 0 0.7 are moderate correlation, which would be 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Numbers between 0 0.7 and 1 are strong correlation. That would be numbers like 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. And a perfect 1 or a perfect negative 1, right, there's no decimal there, would be a perfect correlation. Let's take a look at mine. Mine is 0, 0.0. Do you see that? You're going to look at the number right after that decimal point. So it's a point zero. Which one is a 0, 0.0? That would be a no correlation, but it's a 0 0.09, which is very close to a 0 0.1, right? A 0 0.09 is very close to a 0 0.1. So I'm going to say that's a weak 
correlation. Okay, so this is a weak. Also, you need to give the sign. Is it positive or negative? This is negative. It's a weak negative correlation. And let me just say, this is not a strong correlation because this is not 0 0.9, right? This is 0 0.9. This is 0 0.09, okay? Which would be closer to that 0 0.1, which is the weak. Okay, so my answer would be B here. It is not strong. It is a weak negative correlation because of that 0, 0.0 there, okay? All right, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.